Introduction The beautiful world around us is made visible to us by the effect of light. In the darkness, we cannot see anything around us. Light is an important aspect of our life. In this lesson, we will study about light, its properties and its characteristics. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define light Explain laws of reflection of light Define regular and diffused reflection Discuss the formation of multiple images Describe the working of kaleidoscope Discuss dispersion of light You look at different things In this room you can see the chair, table and the beautiful vase on the table Things are visible to us only when the light from the object enters our eyes This occurs in two ways Either the object itself emits light or it reflects the light falling on it from another light source Hence, in complete darkness, due to the absence of light, we cannot see anything. Do you know that light is a form of energy just like sound, but still different from it? We know that sound cannot travel in vacuum. However, light can travel through a vacuum. That is how the light from the sun reaches our planet Earth. If we keep an opaque object in front of the source of light, the path of light is obstructed, thus forming a shadow behind the opaque object. This shows the light travels in a straight line, else we could have seen through the opaque object. The light travels in a straight line. Just as a ball bounces off a wall when we hit it, similarly, the light bounces off objects when it strikes it. The most important fact is that the angle at which the light strikes an object is same as the angle at which it gets reflected. Let us study about it in detail. The reflection of light at a surface obeys the following two laws, which are called the laws of reflection. According to this law, angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection that is angle i is equal to angle r the incident ray the normal at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane we now know that light falling on an object is reflected reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called regular reflection Reflection of light from the water surface and highly polished floors are also examples of regular reflections. Images are formed by the regular reflection of light. Diffused or irregular reflection takes place when a ray of light is incident on a surface such as wall or wood which is not smooth or polished. An image is not formed in this case. In this case, the different portions of the surface reflect the incident light in different directions. The light sent to our eyes by most of the objects we see around us is due to the diffused reflection from their surfaces. One plain mirror gives one image of an object. Can you tell how many images we would obtain with two plain mirrors? Let us perform an activity. To know the number of images formed using two plane mirrors. Take two plane mirrors. Set them at right angles to each other with their edges touching. Place a lighted candle in between the mirrors. How many images do you see? Strangely, we can see three images of the candle in two mirrors. This is how multiple images are formed in a mirror maze that we all enjoy going through. What is a kaleidoscope? It is a tube containing mirrors and pieces of colored glass and pebbles. 
as the viewer looks into one end, light entering the other end creates a colorful pattern due to the reflection of the mirrors when rotated. Let us perform an activity to make a kaleidoscope. Get three strips of plain mirrors and join them together to form a prism. Fix them in a circular cardboard tube. A cardboard disc should close one end of the tube. Pierce a hole in the center of this cardboard through which we can see. Paste a piece of transparent plastic sheet under the cardboard disc. At the other end, touching the mirrors, fix a circular plain glass plate. Place on this glass plate several small pieces of colored glass and close this end of the tube by a ground glass plate. Now look through the peephole in a well lit area and rotate the kaleidoscope to view from the hole in the cardboard disc a variety of beautiful colorful patterns in the tube. What do we observe in the sky after rainfall? Yes, a beautiful multiple colored rainbow. But where did all these colors come from? We know that the sunlight is referred as white light. When this light passes through glass prism, the light splits into seven colors. It means that the beam of white light has split up into its constituent colors. Group of these colors represent the spectrum of white light. Therefore, this phenomenon of splitting of white light into its constituent colors is called the dispersion of light. Coming back to the rainbow, we can now say that the dispersion of white light passing through the water droplets formed the rainbow. The colors can be seen in the following order. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red or Vic Bure. Students, you have to match items under column A with items under column B. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Light is a form of energy that makes things visible around us due to its reflection from various surfaces. Light travels in a straight line. A mirror changes the direction of light that falls on it. There are two laws of reflection. Angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. That is, angle I is equal to angle R. The incident ray, the normal at the point of incidence, and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Reflection from a smooth surface like that of a mirror is called regular reflection. Reflection from a rough surface like that of a wall is called diffused reflection. A kaleidoscope is a tube containing mirrors and pieces of colored glass or pebbles. As the viewer looks into one end, light entering the other end creates a colorful pattern due to the reflection of the mirrors when rotated. The splitting of white light into its constituent color is called dispersion of light.